The Division Endgame has been leaked, but is it enough? Also, Overwatch release date has been announced, and we have some sad news. My name is your Raptor, and this is the Raptor News of March 7th, 2016. Endgame content is very important in an MMORPG and it looks like we now know what the Division's endgame looks like, according to a Reddit user named Christian Reason. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Anyway, players can look forward to daily and weekly missions that are available for a certain time. You can expect combat missions, Dark Zone missions, crafting missions and main missions. The most interesting thing for players that like to play against AI opponents is the challenge mode, where you can play the story missions. For right now, again on a harder difficulty against level 32 enemies for a high end reward. Maybe you will find items for a certain gear set that you can collect and gives you a certain power. For example, Tactician's Authority enhances electronics and support capabilities, Striker's Battle Gear provides bonus for assault capabilities, Sentry's Call enhances Markman's capabilities. Path of the Nomad provides bonus for Lone Wanderers, so players that like to play alone. Every gear piece on level 30, the max level of the division has a score. The higher the score, the better the gear, and like Destiny, the higher your level, the higher the gear that you will find. So you will build your character that way. For players that like the Dark Zones, there are supply drops that can happen a few times a day, with supposedly very sick items that you can use right away and don't need to extract while all the other items in the dark zone you first have to extract. This could really create insane fights for the loot, which makes team play in the dark zone even more important. This all sounds super interesting and really something I want, but only 4 missions in the challenge mode, the mode that I will probably play the most of, is kinda meh, but maybe Ubisoft will add more in the future. I can't wait to finally get started, are you going to play the division and what do you think of these end game details, let me know in the comments. Overwatch finally has a release date, Blizzard's cartoony styled team based shooter will launch on May 24th with an open beta from the 5th till the 9th of May on all 3 platforms, so also Xbox One and PC. I have access to the PC beta right now, played a few hours but I have to say the upgrade system that is really pack focused like FIFA Ultimate Team or Plant vs Zombies Garden Warfare. It doesn't speak to me. Also, I don't like to play shooters on PC, so I will definitely head into the console beta because I love the characters and the art style and I want to give it another chance. We end with some sad news, Fable Legend is cancelled. Not really a surprise though because I think it would have flopped because of the negative press around it from the start. Even more sad news is the fact that the developer of the game, Lionhead Studios, of course also uh, from the normal Fable games, while Fable Legends was a multiplayer game, of course the other Fable games were just single player RPGs. That studio will also close, probably, while press play from Project Knoxville, also an Xbox studio, already knows that it will close its door. This really shows that there's just no room for titles that cost a lot, but really have no right to exist alongside the thousands of other online games people can play. But, of course, this is still sad news though. My thoughts go out to everyone affected by this news. Thanks for listening to the Raptor News of March 7th. Subscribe to the Raptor News to stay up to date on the latest gaming news. You can do that by subscribing to my YouTube channel or my SoundCloud and iTunes. Like the video if you did and the Raptor News will be up every weekday 8pm Central European Time and 11am Pacific Time. Have a great day, I will speak to you tomorrow, the Division Launch Day. Oh my god, come on, bring it on.